I want to address two issues that have been raised here, though there are many more. The first is regarding the issue of the fact that we're, we're being told that Sharia law is not based on the Quran, it's not Islam, I say it is. The problem with saying that it's a question of interpretation is that I don't find the interpretations of, for example, Farzan is sufficient. I don't find it sufficient to say, for example, you have a lot of Islamic feminists who say, well, in the, the, the uh, part that says that women should first be confined, then they should be beaten, it gives levels of, uh, for women and that way, that way it protects women from being beaten brutally as they were in the past. I'm saying that's not enough. It's not enough to say that, well, people who are adulteresses should be flogged and not stoned. That's what it says in the Quran. I'm saying flogging is torture. I'm saying beating, beating is not permitted in any way or form. Whether it's with a cloth or whatever, it's not permitted. And I think that that is the problem with interpretation. It's not enough. We have to focus on women's rights. We have to demand universal standards and rights. And interpretations is really a smokescreen. It's a smokescreen because in reality, the, the law and the political power that imposes that law decides the interpretation, not anybody sitting on this panel. And that, in that instance, we see that always the interpretation is anti-women, it's brutal, it's misogynist, and it has no place in civil society and the society of 21st century. <laughs> Religion is a private affair and it has to be kept separate from the state. The second issue I want to raise is about the fact that opposing Islam, speaking out against Islam is racism. Speaking out against Sharia law is racism. Speaking out against political Islam is racism. It's not racism. We need to be tolerant. I am intolerant. I am intolerant of fascism. I am intolerant of poverty. I am intolerant of Islam and political Islam. I am intolerant of Sharia law. I will not accept it. I believe that the human being is sacred. And only the human being is sacred. And no religion and no belief is sacred. And that we can not be It's a lie. In the same way that if I oppose poverty, that does not mean I'm, I'm uh, inciting hatred against the poor. If I oppose female genital mutilation, it doesn't mean that I'm inciting hatred against women and girls who've been genitally mutilated. And if I talk against Islam, it does not mean that I'm inciting hatred against women. It's